Hey, this is Cool Trains in Montreal. I tried to race this train to catch up to the motor power, which was um, military uh, locomotive and a heritage mo locomotive on CP. Uh, I couldn't quite get it, but I did want to get the military load one more time. So here I am in Dorval. I managed to chase it as far as here but it just was too fast and uh, started to move into the yard. So it's around 6 o'clock p.m. Thursday afternoon, the 1st of, August, uh, 1st of October, 2020. So this will be the last train of the day for me. Yeah, it would have been good to get this train from the beginning going this slow, but it doesn't seem to be uh, doesn't seem to be in the cars for me today. Oh, there's a CN train too at the back. Now would be a good day to be up on one of those bridges. Here's the text. I saw this train go by earlier at uh, Beaconsfield. So this is the same train that had the military units on front too. Uh, there's a DPU at least. So at this point I'm at Cardinal Avenue in Darval. And if this train had sat idle a little bit longer, I would have been able to get it at Darval. It's cool to get these tanks on the flat cars going slowly. This is really the big feature of that train. And it looks like a Governor General's car or something. Well, it's a, obviously a military, military, uh, 
military passenger car of some kind. But it kind of looks like a passenger car that was um, painted up in Via Rail that I saw at Ottawa probably yeah, 20 years ago that was supposed to be the Governor General's uh, train car. Anyway, this is just a regular uh, CN train now. Also headed uh, east. And when it ends, I'll be heading home. So if you like what I do, please subscribe to Cool Trains in Montreal. Have a good day.